Hi Calvary, it's Pastor Chad. I'm here with our daily word of encouragement and uh, it's Friday and I'm excited to be here. It's the end of our second week of kind of social shutdown, uh, isolation, social distancing, uh, all the terms they use that uh, have changed our world so much in these past several weeks. And speaking of change, we're, we're going to be uh, doing church online again this weekend. So uh, March 28th, 29th is going to be uh, same service times from your home. Uh, check it out. Best place is calvarylhc.com. And there'll be a link right to the, the live stream services Saturday at 5, Sunday at 8, 9.30 and 11. And Sunday at 8 is going to be the traditional service like you're used to. If you come at 8 o'clock, the others will be the modern services. Uh, and, uh, and I hope you'll join us and participate and share the links and encourage your friends and host a watch party, uh, which, by the way, you can do without actually having people in your home. Uh, but uh, uh, we want to encourage you to continue embracing this new reality, this, this moment in time where we're having to do things so differently. And speaking of change, uh, you know, that's one of our core values here at Calvary, change. It, you can't follow Jesus and stay the same. You can't follow Jesus and stay where you are in life. It, it's kind of a, a, just an obvious reality. Jesus' invitation to his followers was what? Follow me. Well, if you're following Jesus, you can't stay where you are. It, it requires change in your life. After all, Jesus came to change your life. He came to give you new life, make you a new person, uh, give you a new destiny. One day you're going to get to heaven, you're going to get a new body, and there's going to be a world without suffering or sorrow or death or pain. And, and that's a, a new reality that we embrace. But following Jesus every day means that we need to embrace change. And, and so I want to ask some questions. Uh, in the midst of this world that we're not in control of the, the change. We're not in control of the fact that, that we're not supposed to gather in large groups or that a lot of jobs have been shut down and, and a lot of people are, are worried. Let me, let me just talk to you about what it means to follow Jesus and allow him to change your life. The, the first question is this, how is God changing you? He, he wants to grow you. He wants to teach you. He wants you to become more like him. So uh, what is God using this adversity around you to try and teach you? Is he trying to teach you patience? Is he trying to teach you uh, faith, you know, just to trust him more? Uh, is he trying to teach you uh, joy that right now you're, you're wrestling with that and you can't come up with great reasons to praise God and yet God wants you to experience joy, he wants you to rejoice in the Lord always? Is God trying to teach you kindness? You know, you're agitated. Your spirit is just driving you crazy. You're, you know, stir crazy in the house. The kids are driving you nuts. Is, is God trying to teach you kindness? Just to, to bless those with your words instead of cursing them? Uh, see, God's always trying to change us. He's more interested in your character development than he is in all the wonderful things that you may want to do for him. Uh, he really wants you to, to be somebody who looks like Jesus. And so God's trying to change you. So how is God changing you? And then uh, the other question is, what does God want you to change about your relationships with other people? See, God wants to change you, but he also wants to use you to change others. And that means uh, the, the approach, the conversations, the, the attitude that you have. All of those are part of that change. And I know in my life, God's always trying to teach me uh, to change. You know, uh, it used to be when I would be driving and I would get behind people driving up the highway, you know, towards the Sweetwater property from downtown. And they would be going, you know, below the speed limit side by side. And I would just blow a gasket. I'd get so frustrated. Why are they blocking it? And, and, uh, and out of that, God has taught me that love is patient. And while I may be in a bigger hurry and it may be rude for them to block traffic, uh, I don't really need to get upset about that. Uh, what I do instead is I pray for them. I thank God for the fact that I'm driving instead of walking. Uh, I, uh, I realize that, that being in a hurry is not going to change the world, but loving people is. And so God has taught me over many years of driving behind slower people uh, to have a lot more patience and, and to not let it ruin my day or ruin my attitude. Uh, that's what he does. He's, he's growing us and he's teaching us. And, and so, you know, how's God changing you? How does God want to change your relationships and change the world through you? And, and then the other part of it is, are you looking for how God is changing the world so that he can accomplish his purpose? 
You know, Monday we talked about the mission of Calvary is to lead people to that life-changing relationship with Jesus through the love of his people and the power of his truth. Uh, he is serious about his mission. And, and he wants us to be involved in that. Uh, and I really believe that, that this is a point in time when God is doing special things that we don't like to answer our prayers to change our nation, to answer our prayers to reach our neighbors, to answer our prayers to, to bring our family back together, reconciled and, and in love with Jesus. And, and we don't know how he's going to work through all the circumstances, but we know that God is working through the circumstances. And so we can tolerate the craziness of our society. We can endure the difficulties of socially distancing. I know some of you really like that. I don't. But we can make it through all this because God is changing this world. And he wants people to know him, to know his love, to know his redemptive power, to know their destiny is heaven, to know their sins are forgiven. He wants people to know that. And he wants you to know that. And he wants you to be part of changing this world in Jesus' name. So I'm gonna encourage you to spend some time with God and invite him to change you and invite him to use you to change somebody else's life and then invite him to open your eyes to see how he is working in this world to accomplish the kingdom of God. After all, uh, most of us know the Lord's Prayer and how it begins. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Guess what? If we really mean that, that means that we're going to hold on to Jesus through this changing time. We're going to follow him where he leads. We're going to reflect the character of Jesus wherever we go because we're connected to the body of Christ. And that calling to lead people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus is going to be our priority. I'm praying for you. Uh, I won't see you this weekend, but I hope you join us as we worship together online at calvarylhc.com or calvaryaz.com. Dot com.